This video is sponsored by Cliff and Pebble. This is the Akaya Lunar, the $250 smart espresso scale that everyone, myself included, bashed on for its exorbitant price tag, yet still uses it anyway. And this is the La Marzocco Home Edition of the Akaya Lunar, a $400 version of the exact same scale with brew by weight functionality, only possible on the newer model Linnea Minis. In this video, I'm going to share with you my thoughts on the scale, who it's for, and if it's worth it. So for some initial disclaimers, this scale was sent to me by La Marzocco under no obligations whatsoever. I am not being paid for this review and all thoughts and opinions remain my own. So first, the build quality. This scale is identical to the existing Akaya Lunar. That means it looks the same, has the same dimensions, and is built with the same high quality metal housing. My own Akaya Lunar has held up fairly well for several years now, and I have very, very rarely even had to charge it up. It holds its battery really well. The only real differentiator here on the exterior that shows it's the La Marzocco edition is this little laser engraved logo on the side. Even the unboxing experience felt largely just like a regular Akaya Lunar. Now setting this up for the first time was surprisingly really straightforward. I opened up the La Marzocco home app and turned on the scale, and it found it fairly quickly pairing together the machine and scale. From there, I've been able to set two separate desired outputs using my standard 18 gram dose. I set my first output to 36 grams for a 1 to 2 ratio, and a second output at 54 grams for a 1 to 3 ratio. You can select which dose you want it to use through the app. From there, you use the scale and brew like normal. You place a cup on the scale and start the brew with the paddle on the Linnea Mini, which by the way, if you are unaware, it does not act as a flow control paddle, it's literally just an on-off switch. And once it starts, the scale auto tears and starts the timer, and the shot is automatically stopped just before the desired output based on the flow rate to aim to get you really, really close to your programmed dosage out. The paddle does remain in the on position with the lights under the group turned on, but switching it back to the off position resets this whole process. And before getting into the performance of how well this scale works, a quick message from the sponsor of today's video. If you're in the market for your first or next espresso machine, grinder, or coffee accessory, be sure to check out Cliff & Pebble. The Chicago-based team has a huge selection of machines from some of your favorite brands including Rocket, Elite, Eureka, Brazza, and more. They've got some of my current favorite machines in the market like the Lilith Bianca and the Eureka Mignon Libra, a perfect combination for serving yourself or a small crowd. And right now you can also use promo code CHRIS at checkout for a free Akaya Lunar with any espresso machine purchase. Just have both the scale and machine in your cart at checkout. Once again, thanks to Clip and Pebble for sponsoring this video. Now, getting into the performance itself. This has been a really impressive feature and oddly very convenient. The doses have always been fairly accurate, I'd say more often than not within one gram. Brewing shots back to back seems to not be a problem with repeatable, consistent shots. In that brew time, I'm able to walk away with my milk pitcher over to the kitchen, fill my pitcher with milk, and return to find a shot completed within a gram of my desired output. And that's essentially all this brew by weight version of the Lunar does. And while very, very impressive, very accurate, and very convenient, it's also very expensive. And the launch at this scale did not come without some major blowback. So first, let's talk about that. As I mentioned earlier, while this scale was sent to me alongside my new Linnea Mini, I am holding nothing back here when it comes to a review. The Akaya Lunar has always been a scale primarily intended for use within a commercial environment. Yes, it is extremely expensive, but commercial equipment generally is. And the Akaya is practically an industry standard from what I've seen in practically every specialty coffee shop that I've ever been to, with its high build quality, accuracy, and speed for high volume workflows. And while the Linnea Mini is rated to brew comfortably in a commercial environment, it is first and foremost a machine designed for the home. That's why it's under the La Marzocco home website and social pages. The introduction of the Akaya Lunar with Brew by Weight saw a short form video set in a home environment, sort of counterintuitive to the scale designed for a commercial environment tagline under the Lunar on the Akaya website. And immediately La Marzocco and Akaya were hit by a storm of comments in what I agree is a very anti-consumer move. Not only do you need to purchase a separate, very expensive scale rather than receive a simple firmware update for what's supposed to be a smart, connected scale already with an app ecosystem, but the new scale is also 60% more expensive for this added feature. Let's call it the La Marzocco tax for the sake of this video. Comments have been calling out both companies on a few main problems that I have summarized as A. It appears to be a firmware update and not something physically built into the scale, so why is it not available as an update for existing Lunar owners? And B. Why is this feature only available for the Mini? Why wouldn't this be made available for the also Wi-Fi connected Linnea Micra? And C. 
why is this scale $400? Is it literally just because of a La Marzocco tax that's adding $150 on top of a already $250 scale? Now, I can't really tell you why they made the decisions that they did. A comment from Akaya seems to point to the direction that this was largely a decision by La Marzocco. And going back to my earlier point about the Lunar being a largely commercial-oriented scale and the Mini being a home machine, and the launch video of the scale is set in a home environment, yet despite that, a comment from La Marzocco attempting to address the blowback states, Over the years, we have seen it, the Mini, used more and more as a professional-grade option in commercial and service-oriented situations, such as pop-up cafes and small coffee shops. We see the brew-by-weight scale as a way of enhancing this versatility. So, the launch video showcasing the scale in a home environment is now being justified as a great option for a commercial environment. It's certainly a little bit odd and a bit of a poor justification in my opinion, and seems like it wasn't quite as well thought out of a response as they had thought. But finally, let's talk about the price. And I think it's fair to say that if you can afford to purchase a six to $7,000 espresso machine, you can probably afford this $400 scale. But that alone shouldn't be justification for the exorbitantly more expensive price tag. Personally, I think similar to the Lunar, this should always have been portrayed as a commercial option and let it sort of trickle its way down into the upper echelon of home brewing enthusiasts with the disposable income to spare. Basically, what the regular Akai Lunar is now to home brewers. But controversies aside then, who is this scale for? Almost like the La Marzocco machines themselves, it's a product aimed at the very upper end of spenders or even low volume commercial use. $400 can get you a really solid coffee grinder or even an espresso machine itself. It's a huge premium to pay for effectively one feature, especially in a home environment. And while I don't have the personal day-to-day -day commercial or pop-up brewing coffee experience, I can see the skills value in being able to prepare drinks back-to-back -back without needing to keep an eye on the output knowing that you're going to get the same dose every time. I did speak to a friend who has been using this in a commercial environment with several pop-ups with his Linnea Mini, and he thinks it's a massive feature and has really changed his workflow in that type of environment. The La Marzocco tax on this product is a huge bummer. For home, it just makes no sense, unless you're frequently serving a small crowd. So that's going to be my take on the Brew by Weight La Marzocco Edition Akaya Lunar Scale. Let me know your thoughts down below and if you agree or disagree. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.